name is Dr. Aaron Wittig, and I teach a large Chem 102 lecture of 300 plus freshmen. And as you can imagine, as a freshman sitting in this audience, it's very intimidating to ask questions. So our objective was to create some sort of channel for students to ask questions in a li less intimidating way. What we decided to do was employ the use of Twitter. We figured that Twitter uh, is, should be very familiar to students of this age. And also, it would be very easy for students to post questions to Twitter during class, either by using their smartphones, uh, by, via text messaging, or their laptops. So the experiment that we devised was to provide students with a hashtag, then students could post questions uh, via this hashtag, and I could either answer these questions during class while they're responding to any clicker questions I asked during lecture, or I could post uh, discussion on the discussion boards using the learning management system that we use in this class, which was Blackboard Vista. We created a help document for this experiment and posted it on the course website. And to our delight, a couple of students found it and began following the instructor on Twitter, even before the announcement was made in class. Then a couple of students posted uh, tweets with our hashtag in it, but they didn't have any content to them. I guess it was just an experiment on their part to see what would actually happen. And then nothing happened. Although the instructor posted the hashtag on the blackboard for uh, two weeks after making the announcement in class, no one tweeted during the lectures or after the lectures or anything about uh, Chem 102B Spring 10 um, at all. And uh, we wanted to kind of figure out what went wrong with our experiment. So we decided to include three Twitter-related questions on the end of semester survey. What we learned from the Twitter portion of the survey was that far fewer students actually use Twitter than we had expected. This related directly to the main reasons they didn't use the Twitter hashtag for class, especially because 81% said they didn't have a Twitter account and didn't want to create one. Nevertheless, only 7% of the students reported not having any questions to ask during lectures, which leads us to believe that having a way to ask questions during lectures is still a good goal to have. That coupled with the fact that 58% report often sending and receiving text messages during class and yet not finding that distracting leads us to believe that starting early in the semester providing sufficient instruction in class and better examples would make having a Twitter hashtag still a promising approach to help students get more out of the lectures.